Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Kiesler. In this video, we are going to start with the new chapter that is linear equations in one variable. So we are going to study all the concepts related to linear equations in one variable like standard form equation of the form ax plus b upon cx plus d is equal to k how to solve it by cross multiplication method and then we are going to take up few solved examples also so let's start now before understanding the concept of linear equations in one variable we have to understand some important terms which are related to it like what is polynomial what is linear polynomial linear equation and then we shall come to linear equation in one variable so let us go through these terms one by one first of all we have polynomial so what is a polynomial an algebraic expression in which the exponents of the variable are non-negative integers that is the whole numbers is called a polynomial that means we have an algebraic expression in which the exponent of the variable is a non-negative integer for example if you see 3x minus 4 is an algebraic expression with the variable x power of x is 1 so it is non-negative integer so hence 3x minus 4 is a polynomial similarly y square minus 5 y is the variable exponent of it is 2 which is non-negative therefore y square minus 5 is also a polynomial right now what are linear polynomials so we can say a polynomial in which the maximum power of the variable is 1 that is the degree is 1 is called a linear polynomial for example 5x minus 9 over here x is the variable whose power is 1 right even 9 has a variable but the power over here is 0 because anything raised to power 0 is equal to 1 so actually it is 9 into 1 which is 9 right but we don't show over here x raised to power 0 because it is 1 only right so highest power or you can say the degree over here is 1 so this is known as linear polynomial right now what is linear equation an equation involving only linear polynomial is called linear equation so if we form an equation which consists of only linear polynomial we say it is a linear equation so definition of linear equation is an equation in which the maximum power of the variable is 1 or degree is 1 is called a linear equation. So basically the same polynomial if I take 5x minus 9 and I equate it to 0 it is an equation it is called a linear equation. So a linear polynomial can be converted into linear equation by just equating it to 0. For example, 5y plus 3 is a linear polynomial in one variable. 5y plus 3 is equal to 0 is a linear equation. Similarly, 2x plus 3y is a linear polynomial in two variables. There are two variables x and y. Whereas in the first example, there was only one variable that is y. Now over here, 2x plus 3y is equal to 0. We have just equated to 0. That becomes a linear equation. So linear equation consists of linear polynomial. What is linear polynomial? Linear polynomial is a polynomial in which the maximum power of the variable is 1. Right? Now what is linear equation in one variable? The linear equation which consists of only one variable is called linear equation in one variable. For example, 5x plus 7 is equal to 9. Over here we have used only one variable whose power is 1. So it's a linear equation in one variable. Suppose I take another example 3x plus 4y is equal to 7. Now over here two variables are used. So this is linear equation in two variables. So in this chapter we are going to solve questions which are based on linear equation in one variable. So we can say an equation of the form ax plus b is equal to c where x is a variable a, B, C are real numbers and A should not be equal to 0 is called a linear equation in one variable that is X. So we have the equation of the form AX plus B is equal to C.
Now over here a should not be equal to 0 because anything multiplied to 0 will become 0. So if we multiply x to 0, actually it will no more be an equation. It will be 0 over here, right? Now the standard form of linear equation, standard form of linear equation in one variable is px plus q is equal to 0, where p, q are real numbers and p should not be equal to 0. So again, P should not be equal to zero because it will turn X also into zero. Now, for example, 5X plus seven equal to nine. Now this is an equation of the form AX plus B is equal to C. If you observe B and C are constants over here, we can simplify them and we can make it into standard form that is PX plus Q is equal to zero. So 9 we shall take up on the other side. We shall write 5x plus 7 minus 9 is equal to 0. 7 minus 9 is minus 2. So 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now over here, P is our 5 and Q is our minus 2. Right? If we compare this equation with the standard form, we will see that P is 5 and Q is minus 2. So this is how we convert the equation into standard form. Now let me revise what all we have learned so far with the help of an example. Suppose I have taken an example 3x plus 7 equal to 0. Now 3x plus 7 over here it is a polynomial which I have equated to 0. So it became an equation right now degree of x if you see it is 1 that is the highest power of the variable is 1. So I can say this equation of mine is a linear equation. Now, since only one variable is used, that is x. So I can say it is a linear equation in one variable. So hence, I can say 3x plus 7 equal to 0 is a linear equation in one variable. Why? It is linear because the degree is 1. It is an equation because it is equated to 0. And it is in one variable because only x variable is used right now after understanding what are linear equations let us understand what is a solution of linear equation so we can say any value of the variable that is satisfies the given equation is called its solution or root of the equation so we just have to find the value of the variable which is used in the equation and that will be the solution or the root now, since this chapter is related to linear equation in one variable, we will have only one variable whose value we have to find and that value will be the solution or the root. Now, we know that the standard form of the linear equation in one variable is Px plus Q is equal to 0. To find its solution, we will just solve it little bit. Q can be taken on the other side. So, we can write Px is equal to minus Q. X is equal to minus Q upon P. So the value of x is equal to minus q upon p. This is the solution of the linear equation. So value of x that has come minus q upon p is the solution of the linear equation. So first of all, whichever equation is given to us, we will uh, find its uh, standard form and then we shall find the value of x and x will be in the form of minus q upon p and that will be the solution or we can say root of the linear equation. Now let us take a few examples. The first equation is 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. We have to find its solution. So 2x is equal to minus 7. So x is equal to minus 7 by 2. So we can say solution of this equation is minus 7 by 2. Second example 4y plus 5 is equal to 0. 4y is equal to minus 5 y is equal to minus 5 by 4. So value of y has come minus 5 by 4 which is the solution of this equation. Now we can check also by substituting the value of x or y in the given equation and see whether we can satisfy or not. Over here I have taken the first example that is 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. So I will be substituting the value of x that is minus 7 by 2. Now left hand side is 2x plus 7. Further, instead of x, I will write now minus 7 by 2. I will replace uh, x with its value that is minus 7 by 2. So 2 into minus 7 by 2 plus 7. Now 2 and 2 will get cancelled. Minus 7 plus 7 
we will get 0 which is right hand side right so we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side hence minus 7 by 2 is the solution or the root of the equation 2x plus 7 equal to 0 so this is how we find the solution and we can check also now important point to note over here is always a linear equation in one variable has only one or unique solution for example 4p plus 5 is equal to 0 so value of p will be minus 5 by 4 which is the only solution of this linear equation in one variable Va variable used over here is p so the value of the p is its solution similarly 3x plus 7 is equal to 0 here x is the variable whose value is minus 7 by 3 solution is minus 7 by 3 that is unique solution we will get 4y plus 9 is equal to 0 so y is equal to minus 9 by 4 which is its unique solution so we can say solution of this given equation is minus 9 by 4 so always remember in linear equation uh, in one variable we will have only one or unique solution to it right so suppose a question is given to us find the unique solution of 4x minus 7 is equal to 9 also check so we can start with the equation 4x minus 7 is equal to 9 and we shall solve it and find the value of x so minus 7 can be taken on the other side it will become plus 7 so 4x is equal to 9 plus 7 9 plus 7 is 16 so 4x is equal to 16 x is equal to 16 divided by 4 that is 4 so value of x has come 4 now we can check also left hand side is 4x minus 7 so 4 into 4 minus 7 which is 16 minus 7 is equal to 9 which is equal to right hand side so we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side therefore x is equal to 4 is the solution of this equation now sometimes we are given the equation in the form of ax plus b upon cx plus d equal to k where a b c d and k are real numbers x is the variable which is used and cx plus d should not be equal to 0 because it's in the denominator so we cannot have 0 in the denominator it will become not defined now to solve such uh, equations and to convert into standard form we use cross multiplication method so to solve ax plus b upon cx plus d equal to k we are going to use cross multiplication method to reduce it to standard form now let us take a question Solve the equation 7 minus x upon 5x plus 1 equal to 3 and verify your answer. So solve the equation means you have to find the value of x and then you have to verify your answer. Basically you will put the value of x in the equation and you will see whether left hand side is equal to right hand side or not. And if it satisfies you will say that yes x is the uh, value of x is the root or the solution of that particular equation. So let us start by solving the equation. The equation is 7 minus x upon 5x plus 1 equal to 3. 3 by 1 we can write over here. Right. And now we will cross multiply. So 1 into 7 minus x is equal to 3 into 5x plus 1. Now open the brackets. 1 into 7 and 1 into minus x will be same. 7 minus x and 3 into 5 is 15 x and 3 into 1 is 3 now take the x terms on one side and constants on the other so minus x minus 15 x is equal to 3 minus 7 minus x and minus 15 x is minus 16 x is equal to minus 4 3 minus 7 is minus 4 now x is equal to minus 4 upon minus 16 minus and minus will cancel and 4 and 16 will cancel we are getting 1 by 4 as the value of x so x is 1 by 4 now we need to verify so put value of x 1 by 4 on the left hand side that is 7 minus x upon 5x plus 1 so 7 minus 1 by 4 upon 5 into 1 by 4 plus 1 now let us solve it let us take lcm lcm will be 4 7 into 4 is 28 28 minus 1 upon 4 over here 5 upon 4 so take the lcm 4 is the lcm 5 plus 4 upon 4 now 28 minus 1 is 27 by 4 we will get and in the denominator we shall get 9 by 4 
now we shall multiply by the reciprocal so 27 by 4 into 4 by 9 whenever we have two fractions a by b divided by c by d actually we multiply by their reciprocal so a by b into d by c so this is the rule which we are following over here so over here 27 by 4 and multiply by the reciprocal that is 4 by 9 now over here 4 and 4 will get cancelled 9 threes are 27 right so we got 3 3 is if you see over here in the question 3 is a left hand side so we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side hence x is equal to 1 by 4 is the solution of the equation right now let us take up another question it is little different from the previous question we have to find the positive value of x which satisfies the equation x square plus 5 upon 2 minus x square is equal to minus 3 by 2 now if you observe over here power of x is 2 it is not 1 so it is not linear equation so first of all we have to convert this equation into linear equation we shall put x square equal to y in the given equation now we will have the equation as y plus 5 upon 2 minus y is equal to minus 3 by 2 now this is a linear equation though it is not in the standard form but we can find the value of y by solving this equation so by cross multiplication we can get 2 into y plus 5 equal to minus 3 into 2 minus y now 2 into y is 2y 2 into 5 is 10 minus 3 into 2 is minus 6 minus 3 into minus y is plus 3y now take the y terms on the one side and the constants on the other so we shall get 2y minus 3y is equal to minus 6 minus 10 now 2y minus 3y is minus y minus 6 minus 10 is minus 16 further we can cancel out minus minus we are left with y is equal to 16 now we have got y is equal to 16 but we in the question we have to find the value of x and we know that y was equal to x square which we had replaced by y so we can replace again y with x square so x square is equal to 16 now 16 is what 4 square so in a way we can say x is equal to 4 so a value of x positive value of x is 4 right now for verification we shall put the value of x that is 4 in the equation on the left hand side we have x square plus 5 upon 2 minus x square x is equal to 4 so we shall write 4 square plus 5 upon 2 minus 4 square 4 square is 16 so we shall get 16 plus 5 upon 2 minus 16 which is equal to 21 upon minus 14 which is equal to minus 3 by 2 so we shall divide both of them by 7 and we shall get minus 3 by 2 which is our right hand side so over here in the equation we started with left hand side and we got right hand side so we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side hence x is equal to 4 is the solution of the equation so this is it we come to end of this video hope you have understood all the concepts related to linear equation in one variable please do like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone have a great day ahead